It is time to go over the Packers versus Giants final injury report for this game coming up on Sunday. The Packers arrived in London not too long ago. They had their first practice. Um, their practice was a lot earlier than typical because um, they are in London. So um, their time zone change and all that kind of stuff. But we have the official injury report for both the Packers and the Giants. So I want to go over all the players who are questionable as well as the guys who have been um, who are out coming up on this Sunday morning. So first off, for the Packers, Jair Alexander practiced fully once again on Friday. He has no injury status, so he will be good to go on Sunday, which is great. Missed last game with the groin injury, but he, he will be playing coming up on Sunday. So great news for the Packers. Adrian Amos, on the other hand, still dealing with that concussion, was limited both Thursday and Friday, so he will be questionable. Um, so I feel like with him practicing the past two days, that's a good sign. It's not official that he will play. He's questionable, so we'll keep an eye on that one. David Bazziari didn't practice Friday, but he has no injury status for the game Sunday, so he will be playing once again as well. Tariq Carpenter with his abdomen injury is questionable. Elton Jenkins, fully good to go, limited today and yesterday. Al Lazard, limited the past three days, good to go as well. Mercedes Lewis, fully practiced today, good to go. Josh Myers had that foot injury, limited all week, but is good to go as well. And then Devontae Wyatt dealing with that quadricep injury will be questionable. So the only really big question for a key player, um, a guy who plays the majority of the snaps, would be Adrian Amos, who is questionable for Sunday. And then Tariq Carpenter and Devontae Wyatt, more of you know depth pieces. So we'll see if they're all ready to go come Sunday. But no players officially ruled out for the Packers. The Giants, on the other hand, have... A, a, a ton of injuries. So for the Giants, I guess they have good news that Daniel Jones will be playing. There were some questions earlier this week as to whether or not that ankle injury um, would be you know fully healed and fully ready to come in Sunday for Daniel Jones, but he will be good to play. Um, but then we have like seven different players who are out for the Giants. So Cordell Flott is out. We have Kenny Galde out. And then we also have Henry Mondo out. We have Aziz Ajulari out. Linebacker out. We have Wandell Robinson, wide receiver, out. We have Tyrod Taylor, backup QB, out. And then we have Kadarius Toney, out. And then Leonard Williams, questionable. So there are lots of injuries here for the Giants. They uh, That's unfortunate for them with all the players they have out, receivers especially. I think they have, what, two or three receivers who will be out for Sunday. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see sort of what they're able to do. Clearly, I think for the Packers, the biggest thing is can they stop Saquon Barkley because he's a beast. And um, we'll see if the Packers are able to you know, fix their rushing defense, which has struggled in the past. But it's going to be an exciting game come Sunday, Sunday morning game. Um, should be fun. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the Packers can pull out this victory. But that is all I have for this video. Subscribe if you want to see more Packers news, Packers content. Turn on the post notifications. That way you never miss any Packers news. But that's all I have for today. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Luke underscore Beller. And I'll see you guys next time.